Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing a new robotic vacuum cleaner. And then we're going to check back later to show you the vacuum in action. Uh, this vacuum cleaner is from Amore and it works with a smart app and it works with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. So here's the box and it says it's the A900 robotic vacuum cleaner. Let's see what's on the back. Uh, map out and navigate your home. And I mentioned that it's a, there's an easy to use app. I haven't downloaded the app yet, but we'll get to that. Keeps robots away from certain areas with boundary strip. Um, captures allergens and, and captures allergens and germs with a HEPA filter. Glides under furniture, hard to reach places. It is two point, what does it say? 2.99 inches high. So it has a low profile. That's kind of an issue with any kind of vacuum cleaner. Um, and there's some specs on the side. So let's open the box and see what you get. Okay, it's nicely packed. It's got an operation guide. And um, attention before use. Remove the blocks and sticker, attach side brushes. Okay, we'll do all that. Just quick start instructions. And uh, warranty. Okay, so gotta figure out what that is. That's obviously the um, AC cord. Batteries for the remote. Remote control. And got the RoboVac. And then the, the wall charging unit. And um, we've had a couple of different RoboVacs before, and they all have those little brushes that you need to attach. So we'll get it out of the packaging and get the brushes attached. Okay, so the quick start guide says remove the blocks and sticker. And we're doing that. Hi, I'm Mary, your cleaning assistant. Oh. I am ready now. Um, we're going to attach the side brushes to the bottom. Turn on the main power switch. Now, I assumed we'd have to charge this before use. Let's see. brushes are easy to pop in. Okay, so there's the two brushes that it uses and there's the two extra brushes. Okay, so we're looking to see if there's a filter in already, if this is an extra or if we need to install it. the manual here. And that's the uh, dust collector. Okay, there is a filter in there. So, there's an extra filter. So, we'll get the charging station, the charging dock put in. It appears to at least be partially stopped, charged since um, the light went on. Okay, we've got the charging dock plugged into the wall outlet. Now we're going to put the robot on it and let it charge. There's a blue light flashing and a purple light with a slower flash. 
So the instructions say to charge for three to five hours until the light turns blue. And it's, um, I think that's, that must be the main light that is now. Oh, there's a blue light flashing, but the other light is kind of a magenta color. So wait for that. In the meantime, we'll um, get the remote control ready and download the app. The user manual shows how to download and install the app. So there's the QR code, um, or you can go to the App Store or Google Play, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that we have the app downloaded, and we're going to make an account. Yes, we're going to register. So to verify, you can enter your email, your phone, so or your phone. So I'm going to just choose my phone since I'm holding it right here so I can get a verification code. All right, so shortly after you get your verification code, you then create a password, and now I'm gonna turn on my Smart Life. So I'm gonna create a family. I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna name the room that my vacuum's gonna be in, and the location, and we're gonna get this done and come right back. So once I created my uh, family, then I'm going to add my device. And then you're going to make sure that the device is um, on and that the Wi-Fi light is wrapping, rapidly blinking. And then you're going to uh, put in your Wi-Fi password. Now, you do have to make sure it's 2.4 gigahertz instead of your 5G. So I'm going to put that in. All right. so. Once you put your password in, you're then going to see this. It's going to connect. All right, looks like I found my device. So we're going to say completed. And basically, this is like a remote control. As you can see at the top, it does have 0% charge, so it is over there charging. But on the app, you can set a timer, you can allow for it to auto dock, so it can auto charge, spot, anything like that. You can move it around. Um, it's, it's a very useful app, especially if you don't want to use the, co the controller that comes with it. This is the boundary strip. We're not going to use this, but you, what you're able to do is uh, cut this to whatever length you want, and then um, lay it flat side down on the floor to block off a space that um, the robot will recognize and avoid. You can use tape to keep it flat on the floor or so you could just lay it down and put it back up. Alright, so once you get your uh, vacuum all hooked up and ready in your, in your home, go to the upper right hand corner and there is a list right there. And in the middle, it says Supported Third-Party Control, and it has Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, um, and some other ones I don't have, but I do have Amazon Alexa, so all you have to do is click that, and that will go through a set of instructions that you can follow and easily go along for you to be able to set up Alexa. But it's very simple, very quick, and very easy. And the vacuum is charged. The light is a steady blue now. Didn't take uh, nearly as long as I thought it would. What was it, about two hours? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we went out and I was able to look at my phone and look at the app and see that it was 100% charged. So we're going to try it out now. Alexa, turn vacuum on. Okay. okay. Okay, so I like being able to use the voice command. Don't even have to pull out my phone or remote control or anything. And there it goes. Now this, I thought this would be a challenge because this is a uh, kind of a plush or semi plush rug. We've had a couple of other Robovax. Oh, that's one thing they have generally have difficulty with is getting going onto rugs unless they're very, very thin. The vacuum is diligently working over there. 
under the chair. And as most, if not all, RoboVacs have, it has the guards where if it bumps up against the surface that it turns the other direction. It has a 145 degree digital navigation sensor. I'm reading this from the um, information on the Amazon page actually. Integrated with Visual Slam technology, the navigation sensor enables the robotic vacuum cleaner to detect the space and clean it accurately. So this has an intelligent mapping system, um, and I'm reading this again. With smart navigating sensor and upgraded mapping, A900 robotic vacuum is able to locate itself accurately and generate the optimal cleaning without a missed spot. Okay, so it just uh, went on to the area rug and managed to navigate that, and there the other rug, which is the plush. It's good to be able to get on and off of that. And here it comes, went under the bed. And I'm, I am very impressed that it's not getting snarled on the, the rug. It has um, auto-adjust suction. Uh, let's see, our smart A900 robot vac cleaner has a 1400 PA strong suction power and is able to auto-adjust suction when working on carpet. And there it goes, on and off the rug, no problems with that. And it's making its way across the floor. And of course it has no problem, that's a high bed, it has no problem getting under there. So, um, Let's see what it says here. This has self-charging and breakpoint resumption. This smart robot vacuum can run up to 100 minutes working. Okay, so it went under the dresser. And that's a pretty narrow clearance there. And that's good. That's an area that just doesn't get vacuumed very often because uh, it's hard to get any kind of vacuum under there. And with these robot vacs, you do have to be careful with things like wires. So it's possible I may use the those um, strips. What do they call them? The boundary strips. I may use the boundary strips. Alexa, turn vacuum off. Okay. I'm returning to dock for charging. Okay, so the Alexa app turned it off. So the um, motor's not running, it's finding its way home. Yeah, got over that plush shag rug again. Let's see. We have another RoboVac that we use downstairs that has quite difficulty finding its way home, does it eventually? But this one is only taking a few seconds. Okay. Wow. So it's on the docking station. Alright, so here's a look at the remote. Up here we have the auto cleaning button. So when you turn the robot on, you can press this button and it will do its auto cleaning. The button right here is the spot cleaning button. So it can clean a localized area. This button right here is the edge button, or edge cleaning button, so you can go all around the walls and furniture. This is the auto recharge button, so if you hear it's in the middle of cleaning, go ahead, press this button. If you want to send it home, it'll go, and it'll go in charge. Um, everything else here is pretty self-explanatory. You move it around, you can stop and start it. It's a very slim remote, and it matches the vacuum itself. Now, all I did was press auto. Alright. So I really like that you can control this with the remote, with the app, or with the Alexa or Google Assistant.
Now we're going to empty the vacuum for the first time. Oh, I can see there's a lot in there. Pull out the little um, waste compartment. No, it's not that interesting. <laughs> oh, okay, here it is. Go like the arrows. It opens it up. There we okay. go. And then take it all out. Ooh, look at all that hair. Uh, oh, most of that is pet hair. So it's picking up a lot of stuff that we can't even see. I'm going to put the dust catcher, dust bin, whatever it's called, collection bin, back in. There we go. Alexa, turn vacuum off. And there it is charging. So there's the app and it shows that it is. It has remaining capacity of 67%. So we use 33%. I think we're gonna enjoy using this. Please check the description section below this video for more information. Thanks for watching.